good morning everyone sorry uh sorry i've been out of touch i may be out of sight but i'm not out of mind if you know what i mean uh just a lot going on life is just busy and when you're trying to make a buck and pay the bills it just it's it's so hard and I've always got way big ambitions and goals and I'm always just go, go, go. And I'm trying to really focus my life and slow down a little bit. I, I've went too hard. But I just want to tell all of you, thank you so much for all your comments, all your views, and just the feedback that I get on the videos. I may not have time to answer and I'll go through and I'll, I'll have a spurt where I'll try to answer as many as I can, as quickly as I can. But just understand that I'm around and I'm watching and all the people that help me, they're reading your comments as well. So they're not being written in vain, if you know what I mean. They're being seen. So thank you. I want to tell you where I'm at right now. I'm in Prairie du Chien. Wisconsin. I drove here yesterday. I left uh, Hastings, Nebraska at 1 in the afternoon. It took me till 10.30 last night to get here. I stopped and saw one fan along the way right by Des Moines. He's, he's actually a friend. Uh, I got to know him about five years ago, a younger kid, and uh, him and I talk. When I'm passing through Iowa, I give him a call or I'll text him, but usually I'll call him. Uh, so I'm up here I'm heading up to uh, Escanaba, Michigan. I'm doing a big trapping convention up there. It's their 55th annual trapping convention. In the north, trapping was a very big part of the the heritage, if you will. It, it was an upbringing because it a lot of woods trapping was a way of life so a lot of the old timers back in the day they made their living trapping in the winter months so i'm heading up there to this trapping convention uh i've been doing it now for five years it's called the up trappers association and uh, roy dahlgren is the head of this and his wife kim dahlgren they do a lot of work as well as a lot of the other helpers and members of the trapping uh, trappers association but roy reached out to me about five years ago and he went out on a limb uh to get me up there i'm headed up there right now i've got my pickup absolutely full of product uh, making my venture up there, it's going to be about a two-day drive because it's about 900 miles. And I went a little over halfway yesterday, last night. And I have some dear, dear friends that are going to be helping me at the booth. They're coming all the way from Illinois, uh, Bill and Tina Gray. I met these people about, I think it was my first year at the convention. They drove eight hours one way just to see me. And you talk about humbling. If that doesn't humble a person, I don't know what does, okay? Um, they become friends. And Bill's a farmer from Illinois. He's just south of Chicago, about probably an hour, maybe a little more. And Bill is a a good proficient coyote caller, coyote killer. He traps, he he calls, and he's very good at it. So they knew that I might need help up there and they enjoy it because they've been introduced to people that I know and they've become friends as well. So if you understand this, even this YouTube community, we're all one big family, we're friends, okay? I'm easy to be friends with. My problem is my memory, I can't remember names very well, but uh, I, I enjoy meeting people. I'm an introvert, but I enjoy meeting people. So I wanted to give you a little update as to where I'm going, what I'm doing. I have not forgot about you, okay? Uh, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for the views. Thank you for sharing my videos. That, it's the great thing about YouTube. When I was growing up, there was nothing. You could barely 
find out a way to read a book. You know, you had to mail order something, send a check, and it took three weeks to get a book back in my day. And now you can order something online, you can go to YouTube, you can watch, you've got a wealth of knowledge right in front of you. Now, who would have thought that I could be teaching people halfway across the country on how to call predators or how to hunt or show my technique? So I think it's great. All the Australian fans down under, thank you so much. Um, and like I said, it's, it's so humbling. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you. I want you to know that you're on my mind a lot more than you might realize and to answer a question uh, I went through some of my comments today Benny 23 from Southern Cal uh, military man uh, he's calling coyotes down there he wanted a little advice on, as to how he can be more proficient at calling coyotes in Southern Cal I'll tell you something Benny 23 the the thing about hot areas Phoenix uh, Arizona California, Nevada, the way you become more proficient at calling coyotes in the hot, hot areas is limiting your time to the best time in the field. And that's going to be sundown when it cools down all night is typically how a lot of the people do it. They night call um, and they use lights. That's one of the best ways, I'm telling you, because the coyotes are more active. You, your best chance at, at, at calling in a predator is when they are more active. And if it's 90 degrees, that thing does not want to get up and come check you out for nothing. It's laying there panting underneath a cactus, and it does not want to move. So that's my tip of the day for Benny23 in Southern Cal. A special thank you to everybody all my pro staff, all my fans, all my YouTube followers, all my friends, thank you so much. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out in the near future. Just be patient with me, and we're going to get along just fine. Have a great day, and I'm going to get outdoors.